attack! Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am your host, Eckstein. You are about to watch some awesomeness. This is the second Valve Highlander mix-up match featuring Valve developers playing with a mix of community players and other e-celebrities. We have three European pros, three American pros, some uh, uh, substitute players, the administrator of the TF2 wiki, some YouTube people, a map maker, three people from Valve, and uh, you know a couple more to fill in the gaps. We will run down the rosters in just a little bit, but shortly we are going to have the Demo Man melee fight to start this match off. This is upwards. There is three maps total. Let's see what's going to happen here. Right now we have one of the Demo Men doing a little taunt in front of the gates. Uh, yeah, going to take you a little too long to recover from that. He goes down quickly. Pure taken out as well. Other players dropping for red. Blue team doing work right now. Cutting heads off left and right. It is seven on the two. Blue team pretty much has us locked up. Robin Walker has gotten a kill. Going to get another kill in just a second. Takes off Buck Sexington's head. So uh, these uh, coverages are post-produced. This event happened a bit ago. A little too long ago for my liking. Because it took me forever to produce this series. We see Loper doing some weirdness. Placed his uh, teleporter, his dispenser, then blew up his dispenser. Sure, whatever. Um, let's try to run down the players real quick. On blue team, Mangy Carface, a map designer made at Frontier and Yukon. Torden from VanillaTF.org, the best news site for TF2 in Europe. Agro from Critzcast, the longest running TF2 podcast. Bash is a European pro. I'm not quite sure where Zero Cap is, but he is a baller. Same story with The Sucker. I think both of them um, last minute replacements. YZ50, American Beast Scout. Ukuku is from YouTube. S A K U U K U L I is their YouTube channel. Robin Walker, of course, the founder of Team Fortress. He's a concept and a designer. Uh, real quick on red Beetle Geese, The Ant Colony, NX, PCG, Buck Sexington, Darn, Pure, Lopert, Driller, and John L. I'll get into their backgrounds when we have a second here. John L with the Crits Creek, popped by Pure, does get a kill on the sniper. Zero Cap sees the spy run by as well, but the Dead Ringer, so Mangy Carpe is still running around like a madman behind. And I like this NX trying to uh, play some cover for John L, reflecting some rockets back. Ant Colony gets a snipe on Bash, the Blue Engineer. Now NX running around, forces the early pop. Blue team still pushing forward. Got to clear out red here. This is where they are all set up. Indeed, good work there. Manchi Carface trying to run back in. Oh, no, excuse me. That was um, Buck Sexington on the other team. But we see Carface getting the backstab on Lopert there. John L picked up a kill on Bash and then taken out. So that gives us a second to say what is up about some of these other people. Uh, Beetlegeist is a source OP admin. The Ant Colony from Drunken Brawl. NX is a representative of TF2 Wiki. PCG and Buck Sexington's name stands for PC Gamer. Darn, Pure, and Lopert are the pros on the team. Driller is Dave Riller from Valve. And John L is John Lippincott from Valve. Right now we're seeing YZ50 pick up some kills. Getting John L and then combining with Sucker to take out Darn. Moving forward, red team up top on top of the hill here. Robin with the Islander out and charges in. Cuts Ant Colony's head off. Moving that head from the shoulders. Down low, connects with uh, some of his other players, his Scout and his Pyro. We see Aggro moving in here. Beetle Geese uh, taking some rollers and Aggro comes in for the finish. Zero cap. Lightly taps Loper with one shot. We still don't see Aggro down low until he is gunned down by Loper. Nice shotgun work there. And then Zero Cap shooting through the smoke. Takes out Loper. Clean headshot there. And then gets Ant Colony as well. Very nice shot. Here comes John Allen Pure with the crit Creek. Two kills for them right now. But the Uber pop by Blue. Going to be a tough to face off against. Of course, this is a payload map. Our second map, Badwater, going to be a payload as well. And third map being caught, Viaduct. Uh, different format as well. Here comes Aggro pushing in, getting pretty aggressive, trying to close in on the spawn here. And uh, trying to get this sniper surviving so far. Gonna have to resort to the shotgun. Finishes him off with the third shot. 
Also, see some sparkles on Aggro's gun. That is a community weapon given to him by Valve Software. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else in this game has one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure some of them do. Um, definitely one of the cool things that Valve does, getting involved with the community. Here's Manji Carface trying to stab Loper. That uh, Kniter's Kune uh, only gives him 60 health, though, so he's shotgunned down pretty easily. Blue team marching forward pretty swiftly here. We are just playing one set, and uh, it's going to be stopwatch format, so the time that is set by the offense here is going to have to be beaten by the second team on offense if uh, they are to win. Uh, Chris Creek Pop, Robin in the midst of things, does get taken out by John L. Um, and then we actually see uh, Robin making a second appearance on the kill notice, but that is actually Manji Carfish with the dead ringer. We see Aggro getting pushed up against the wall here. Ton of damage heading his way, but it is the Ant Colony with a nice headshot getting the kill there. Blue team temporarily pushed back. Um, big shout outs to um, Ashcan from ETF2L for organizing this. If you love Highlander, they're going to be having a Highlander League very shortly. Robin getting a nice kill on NX there. Also, big ups to AIGaming.com for providing the servers for this event. Red team still kind of posting up pure uh, a little bit forward with some other players trying to, to get some heals, get some forward pressure, keep the blue team away from them. And I think that was Mangy Carface. We saw a uh, creep pass. Yes, indeed. There he is. Lopert with that level two sentry gun going around over there. Hit it a few times. Uh, at least try to get it back to full health. He's down to nine health, though, however. And oh, we see in the background there, Mangy Carface. Nice stab on Pierre. Gets a sap on the sentry gun as well. And then another back stab. Robin pushing in with his sword. Takes out John L. The co worker on co worker violence continues. Thankfully, we're in a video game and nobody is getting hurt in person. If you don't know what video game this is, this is Team Fortress. Team Fortress 2, to be precise. The series Team Fortress has been around since Quake days. It is hella old school, but uh, thankfully, the improvements keep coming as Valve Software has just kept making this game better and better since it came out about three years ago. Manji Carface loses his disguise as he goes for a swipe with his uh, knife, but um, blue team pretty far forward. They have not yet captured the previous point, so then you gotta do. That is what payload is about. And, well, for the most part, TF2 in general, capturing points. So uh, blue team surging forward times three on the cart is what you want to see. That's uh, how you move the cart the fastest. Doesn't go any faster than that. So uh, more than that is sometimes a little excessive. We see Robin up top with his uh, gleaming eye trying to get another kill as the scout's battling with him. But we also see blue team pressuring forward. That red scout, scout Darn does get the kill. And red team just uh, trying to post up here, trying to hold off blue as much as they can. They lose their heavy weapons guy though. Goes down to a snipe from zero cap and uh, pushing back out. Beetle Geese um, on the, the demo night now. I think he had stickies out earlier. Benefits, of course, to most to both weapons. Usually see the stickies in effect. Blue team still kind of uh, back a little bit, just trying to trying to open things up before they move in here. Pure with an uh, an Uber saw on Manji Carface, but I believe he is still using the crit streak. Uber plot by Blue team here. They are moving in. <laughs> the devil man tries to charge in there and gets blasted off into the pit of despair. That's what you get. Aggro taken out, but there's so much pressure on the spawn of red. Not quite sure how they're going to be able to get out here and defend this cap, defend this cart, get it away from the hole. Um, but it is just keeps sliding in there. Darn, oh, picks up a couple kills, though. Oh, and then the sniper comes up and kukris him down. Nice melee kill there, and he is going to push the cart all the way over the edge. TT Bash, that stands for Thermal Take, and Zero Cap getting the capture. So, a uh, very nice time. Uh, now, the team colors have been switched. Robin's team now on defense. Why, John L, Driller, Pure, all those cats are going to have to try to beat that time. 6.41, a pretty swift time for this map. Um, definitely, they were pushing that cart quickly. We'll see what they can do here. Um... I handled the production of this match and the third map of this match while Lucky Luke uh, handled the production of the second map that you guys are going to see. 
Again, that is Bad Waters. Make sure that you check the description of this video, uh, the annotations, the playlist, so you see all the action here. Here we got Zero Cap. Ooh, great snipe on Darn. Just barely moving that sniper sight up and taking him out. Blue team pressuring from the left-hand side. Very safe choice. Taking a, a good amount of damage on some of their players. John L. pretty hurt, but gets back to the medic for the heals. All about teamwork is Team Fortress 2. Box Sexington, we see in the kill notices, got um, the teleporter taken out. That'll be very helpful. Zero Caps perspective once again, but gets sniped by the ant colony. So much going on. He was trying to trying to pick somebody else out, and then instead it got picked out, picked off himself. Now, um, blue team starting to surge forward with the cart, trying to get it out there. The sentry gun taken out moments before it just got ran over. We see Mighty Carface coming in here. Gets the demo man, gets the soldier as well. Good kills and uh, taken out though. But, you know, two kills, that's worth one life. Driller's perspective here, coming in with the chain gun. Um, and then moving forward, I, it was a weird kill. I'm not sure if he got credit for that last one. Now the, the uber charge popped on the other side. Driller whoops out the gloves of running urgently, but unfortunately cannot run urgently enough. Taken out by the sucker. Ant Colony in the meantime gets another kill on the red sniper zero cap. Winning that battle for a little bit. We see YZ50's perspective here. Such a beast scout from the North American scene, but been out of the scene for a little bit. As I mentioned, these matches played a couple months ago. My bad for the long delay. Apologize to everybody involved. But hey, man, XTV time is just about as bad as Valve time. So much going on. And in the background, we see um, Aggro pushing the blue demo man over the edge. He didn't get credit for it. Zero, uh, now YZ50 moving in. Um, Manji Carface coming from behind at the same time gets a kill on Darn. YZ50 relentless gets John L, the soldier, now moving in on Pier, takes him out as well. Then the heavy weapons guy. Wow, three big kills for YZ50 taking out the trash before he gets taken out by NX. Nice shotgun there. Ukuku up top takes out Lopert's kind of forward uh, teleporter and also gets a kill on Darn. Now Manji Carface disguised, disguised as an engineer, but. Nobody's suspicious except for Pure, who Uber saw him down. But blue team does lose their heavy weapon. Still, they've captured that first point, which will um, push the spawns of red team a little bit further back. TF2, um, a game where, you know, it's about momentum, but uh, respawns, you know, players are always coming back. We see zero cap again here. Good kill on the ant colony after hitting him once. Now the air blast trying to come in from NX, but the uber heavy too strong. We see Driller's perspective trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that sentry gun. Very banged up though, 90 health, but surprise, takes Sucker out from above. Now moving in though, takes out Torden, the medic, and the spy. Well, actually the spy running the dead ringer. So he's still alive. We actually see him creep past there. And then somebody must have said something because Driller turns around and drills Manji Carface into the ground. So blue team surging forward here quite swiftly, which is what they need. Um, I mean, it was such a, a quick time from red team that blue has really got to keep the pace going. And they are right now. Pure pops that crit screen once again, giving John L supercharged rockets. Not really connecting so much. Just got one kill, now the scout on him. But the uh, crit screen has faded. No more bonus damage for him. And, um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, I almost freaked out my, um, I already lost one commentary. I did not want to lose it a, a second. I was panicking. Uh, we saw John L though blowing the buff banner, which uh, you know gives everybody around him uh, mini crits for a little bit. Indeed, though, Manji Carface, well, actually zero cap got the kill. So those two players combining in there, causing chaos. Sniper and spy don't always have to fight. They can work together. They can work together. We see Ant Colony here. Now, actually, Sniper versus Spy trying to get the Jurati, which would stop the Spy from cloaking. Mangy Carface not able to connect to the backstab on um, the demo man of Beetlegeist, but uh, Ant Colony saving him with a swipe. Then gets another kill as well, so Ant Colony doing work. Red Uber is out. Um, good, good stuff. Putting a stop to things a bit. And Torden trying to back out of there does. Still has plenty of health. YZ50 jumping in here. Got a kill on NX, but um, the the heavy just too much for him. Pure moving in, Crits Creek on Darn, but kind of had to back up. Was trying to switch to his demo man. Darn isolated, left to his death. Blue team still surging very strong here though. Two minutes left on the clock. Manji Carface gets Uber sawed, giving up a 25% to Pure. 
So Pure still on that Chris Krieg, but uh, that 25% is going to be helpful. That is for sure. Keep using that Chris Krieg. Keep it going. They are uh, getting close to 100%. The the charge dynamics of this game are very important. You know, the medic, whether he's on Chris Krieg or Uber, Ant Colony sniping over the top here. Picks off aggro. A very nice shot there. Still looking for some more. Um, working the angles, working the sidelines, what Sniper is all about. Actually, had like three players there. Oh, great kill on Zero Cap. Again, just barely adjusting his aim to land the shot. And uh, blue team now, you know, a minute 10 left. They're about to capture the second to last point. Still surging ahead. They take out the sucker with a reflected rocket. Darn trying to move in here, get some damage done, but the dispenser, nice location, healing the red team. Also, oh, wow, Darn goes down, but does get Torden with his last dying breath of bullets right before getting killed by Robin Walker. We see Bucks Exington up top, backstab on Bash. That is gonna put a big dent in the defense of red team. They only have three up as well, and uh, in a tough spot. And then now, Bucks Exington gets a backstab on Torden. A little spawn camp in there. Going for some more as well. But it looks like uh, they've been properly warned about his location, taken out quite swiftly. But blue team, 20 seconds left on the clock, pushing hard here. They have numbers on the cart, but they gotta have times three on there. Get that most efficient use. Aggro coming in here, trying to push players away from the cart. Get off here, get off here. Aggro down to 16 health, pushes the pyro back, gonna send him down into the hole of death. But the clock has taken three seconds left. I do not think they're gonna be able to do this. YZ50 jumping on top of that cart like a madman. And that is it for the first map, the first set of games. Wow, so close indeed. What an exciting way to start this matchup off. Make sure that you guys tune in for the second map. Click those links, search for them. I will see you guys over there. I'm Eckstein. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.